Cameron was in Egypt's land. Let my Cameron go. Hello, everyone out there. It's Nathan here again. Making another video here this evening before I get concentrated on other things. Uh, still enjoying this eight state burly in my country gentlemen. Mm -hmm. So, Brother Padre Piper. Got started on a June uh, call out list. Six questions. Ending up with six call outs at the end. And I got called out by Steph from Steph and Skip, so good to see you, sister. Appreciate the call out. been seeing videos from her just jumping all over my feed. She's been busy in there. It was a bunch of hat making stuff. So, all right, so the six questions or the six things, you know, and let me just say this, Padre, you being, I, I think you, I think you're Anglican, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but you're getting June, sixth month, six questions, and then you end up with six call-outs. This, you're getting close to the mark of the beast there, my friend. Mm. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. So, call outs. So, the first one was name one blend that is so horrible that you never want to have it again. And I have two. But, Ethan Parsimonious Piper has a gaw that he's doing out there, and I can save that, the one that's more appropriate for that, his gaw, for that. So if you want to know my other dreaded one, you'll have to check that one out. As for this one, I'm going to go uh, Cornell and Deal San Sepulcro. Mm. Got that a few years ago. And just was so excited about it that I got two tins of it and then came in the mail pretty much immediately stuffed the pipe full and didn't work halfway through the bowl I just kind of felt like my throat was a little dry and tight like yeah okay I'm not gonna give another chance let it go a few weeks, try it again, same thing. A couple years later, pulled that jar out, tried it again, same thing. And the, the flavors weren't there for me either. Um, but I picked it up because I saw it dark fired. I'm like, oh, you know, I, I'm, I really love that stuff, so, you know, I'm like, I've got to love this blend. And boy, it just disappointed me to no end. So that for me would be my one, number one answer. Uh, second question was name two blends that you'd be all right with if you got stuck on a desert island. All right.
So, one for sure is Country Squire's Green Dragon. I'm telling you, that blend, mm, it's versatile. It's just a Virginia blend. I think there, I think he adds a little bit of burley in there. Nothing that I can tell. I think I heard him say it. But it, the stoved Virginias beef up that blend just the right amount to where it would even work for aromatic lovers out there. But it's all natural sweetness. It's it's beautiful. It's a great Virginia blend. It's probably my favorite Virginia out there. My other blend, and I was going to go with Salani 633, but that's a Virginia Perique and it's real close. But if I'm going to do Desert Island, I want to have some variety in there. So 633 gets just edged out by Old Dark Fired. Because, yeah. I'm going to plan on this desert island that I'm going to be on having some sort of climate to where it does get a little bit chillier during certain times of the year. It's a weird desert island, but that's fine. And even if it wouldn't, I'll pretend it does and smoke Old Dark Fire. Old Dark Fire is what taught me how to smoke flakes. Phenomenal blend. Alright, number three is uh, blends that I have never had or no longer have access to. Um, and I figured this for most uh, most responders is probably going to be so McClellan heavy that I'll just jump on those tracks too. Frogmorton Cellar. And almost anything else that, Frog, that McClellan did. Oh, got so many. The couple of the gauze that have had tins on there <laughs> ready for the grabs. I'm sitting there thinking, oh, it's destined for me, it's destined for me. I've been disappointed each time. Yeah, I'm looking at you, flat map. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second one of those, of those three is going to be Smoker's Haven's Owens Blend. It's not made anymore. Uh, it was actually produced for Smoker's Haven by J.F. Germain and Sons. Um, and the reason why I want to have, I would love to have that one, is that's the blend that my dad and my grandfather used to share together. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty easy one to come up with. The other one, it's not made anymore, except it is made. But it's just not made back then. Any, like it like it is today. I love Capstan Blue Flake. It's phenomenal. Love it. I would love to try it back when J.R. Tolkien used to smoke it. And see what the difference is. That's what I would like. Alright. Four. I need four pipe smokers dead or alive that I would love to share a pipe with. And how dare you limit it to four, brother? <laughs> one. First one. I just did a VR response to Philly Piper on this one. It's my grandfather. And he's been home with the Lord for 20 years now. Hadn't smoked a pipe since the early 90s even. But he'd be on he'd top on the list. Second one, Jared Tolkien. Come on. I mean, goodness. He'd, saw, he'd answer so many questions that us fans have. Third one is John Adams. Yeah, George Washington would be great. Thomas Jefferson would be great. Uh, ben Franklin would be a very interesting guy to sit down and have a pipe with, but uh, John Adams would be 
very interesting to uh, to sit down and have a pipe with. Last but not least, and this one's actually Lord willing going to be fulfilled in August at the Columbus Pipe Show. I want to share a pipe with. Actually, I'm going to combo this one with Doug E. Michigan Piper and the artist formerly known as Pittsburgh Piper, St. David Pipes. Yeah, that's happening. Lord willing. So, in August, that one can get checked off the list, hopefully. Alright, uh, recommendations. Five recommendations new guys uh, to new guys for pipe channels. And, boy, you could go with endless things here. So, first and foremost, and he just made a video today, and I was so happy to see it again. Good to have him back, Mutton Chop Piper. Um, love the guy. Uh, and the reason for recommending him, you all know, he's like the teacher. You know. answers the questions that new pipe smokers have he did for me and uh, just a really respectable guy uh, in the hobby and in life I believe so that would be my first recommendation um, so let's see here uh, next recommendation boy there's, there, there's just a whole list of people I'm going to go with Cliff Higgins his channel Pfft. why? humor man he's a solid dude but he's got a good sense of humor and some might call some of it slightly offensive um, I think good humor is should be intended to be offensive to a certain degree but he, he's got enough lightheartedness in there boy it just takes the edge off a of life sometimes next one this guy's new ish I mean but he's new but boy a lot of us can't get enough of them and that's Hobbiton Piper and, and the reason why I say Hobbiton Piper is the joy of the hobby you know we all enjoy the hobby um, but he, he's got a fresh presentation on it anyway that's you know, I look forward to watching his videos. Always got a smile on his face. Um, you know, just absolutely uh, enjoyable to listen to and, and watch him. Yeah. So, a definite recommendation to him. Next. Parsimonious Piper. Ethan. And just from a point of view of a perspective on life um, Ethan's a well-grounded dude um, is very thoughtful has a good heart um, and and that teaches a lot about life uh, when a guy is willing to you know put that out there uh, regardless of what other people are going to think about about what he's going to say you know he's a guy who values the discussion who values the, the sharing of ideas um, and can evaluate the individual as we can evaluate him on those and so I'd absolutely recommend Ethan because you know he's a solid dude 
Uh, last one that uh, on my recommendations list is George 416 or George 4 O N E 6 or I don't know how many. <laughs> <laughs> he changes his name more than Prince changes titles or P. Diddy changes his name. You know, I guess he would be the P. Diddy, I guess, of uh, the YTPC. <laughs> but the reason I picked George, kindness. He's just the genuine article uh, in just being a kind soul. And all, all of these things for these five, when I put them out there, lessons, humor, joy, life, and kindness, they, they kind of hopefully encapsulate the typical pipe smoker. Someone who takes time f to do all these things or to participate in all these things. So that's the answer number five. I'm getting long-winded here. So uh, six, my call-outs. Alrighty, uh, so I got six here. Uh, Jason, Northwest Piper, brother, I think you've been busy. Haven't been making as many videos as you were a few months ago. Um, so hopefully this can instigate you to break out the camera uh, and do these six questions. Uh, next one, David, Mythical History. Um, Boy, if you guys haven't checked him out, he's got a great channel. Um, you know, a great smoking area. <laughs> and he's got some good stuff, good stories and just a good outlook. So check him out. Uh, but David, there, here are the six questions go to you. Next, Slow Mo Randy. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to get in front of the camera for one of these as well. I'm calling you out, brother. I'd like to hear what your answers to these. Uh, next, Ray, a sentimental man. Uh, let's get you answering some questions there. He's doing a series on the history of tobacco. Uh, and I think he's got two, three of them out there now. Uh, so it's definitely worth a listen to. Uh, next, Adam, angling piper. Um, he, he doesn't create a whole ton of videos out there, uh, but, um, you know, just a good guy, grounded, down-to-earth dude, uh, and hey, he's from Ohio, can't go wrong with that. So, um, Adam, you're on the call for these six questions. And next, this guy is practically brand spanking new. I think he's got a couple videos out there now, uh, and he's o over across the pond, I believe. Gary Miller, these six questions are to you, brother. Uh, so hopefully you'll get the next video out there and he's got a just starting uh, his channel so give him some sub love too because um, you know seems like a real nice dude and uh, really appreciates the uh, the community that we've got here so all right there you go. So, I'm going to sign off here and let you all go enjoy your day if you haven't already done so, or evening, whatever. Count your blessings. Be thankful for them. And when all that's said and done, grace and peace to you.